a very good morning to my dear students so today we are starting unit 2 that is self management skills of chapter 1 employability skills okay uh, so, so till now we have completed unit 1 of chapter 1 that is communication skills okay so today we are starting a new chapter a new unit actually uh, so today we are starting a new unit self management skills so this chapter this unit is basically very very easy and uh, in this you are not having a lot to learn okay basically this chapter is introduced to make you understand about the self-management how you can manage yourself and what will be the uh, positive outcomes if you are a self-managed person okay so here we learn a lot of skills like how you can uh, improve your self management skills how you can be a self managed person and what will be the benefits from it okay so first of all we are starting with the definition self management refers to management of one or by oneself taking of responsibility for one's own behavior and well being it also means managing yourself with the people and resources around you okay so that means agar aap self managed person ho agar aapko pata hai ki apne aap ko kaise manage karna hai to aap kya kar rahe hain aap khud ki to responsibility le hi rahe hain aur sath mein aap dusron ki bhi help kar rahe hain okay so self management ka basic meaning hua you are taking the responsibility for your own as well as for others okay so you can write here this also responsibility for one's own behavior and well-being self-management teach us how to manage yourself with the people and resources around you okay so this meaning is what is that you manage yourself in which way you manage yourself and you manage yourself in which उसकी वजह से किस तरीके से आप अपने आसपास के जो लोग हैं उनसे बात कर पा रहे हैं अच्छे तरीके से और आपके आसपास जो भी रिसोर्सेज है लाइक रिसोर्सेज कुड बी एनीथिंग लाइक योर स्कूल फूड द द क्लॉथ्स यू आर वेयरिंग एनीथिंग सो दीस आर कॉल्ड द रिसोर्सेज फॉर यू ओके सो द रिसोर्सेज व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट अराउंड यू एंड द पीपल हु द पीपल लाइक योर फ्रेंड्स रिलेटिव्स ओके सो हाउ यू आर मैनेजिंग योरसेल्फ विद देम so this is basically about the self management okay now advantages or the reasons behind promotion of self management are as follows so what are the advantages okay first is we do not want the individual to be dependent on anybody else when life passes dilemmas or difficult situations so let's take uh, an example suppose aapki uh, family mein ek person hai jiske upar puri family dependent hai okay wahi hai jo aapke sare expenditures aur aapki requirements in sabko fulfill kar raha hai but uh, all of sudden like wo situation mein nahi hai ki ye sara kuch wo full wo aapki requirements ko puri kar paaye okay so अगर आप सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट या काम में फैमिली का हर मेंबर जो है वो सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट है उसको किसी और के ऊपर तो डिपेंड होने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ रही है तो उस डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन में भी उस कंडीशन में भी सिनेरियो में भी आपके फैमिली बहुत अच्छे से सरवाइव कर पाएगी और जो इवन जो पर्सन है जो भी उस कंडीशन नहीं है उसको भी एक यू नो मॉरल सपोर्ट मिलेगा ओके सो दिस इज बेसिकली सेल्फ मैनेज होने की वजह से यू विल बी अ सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट पर्सन नाउ सेकंड इज सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट इंस्टिल्स सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस इन इंडिविजुअल टू डील विद हिज और हर लाइफ एंड डेवलप वेज टू टैकल हिज और हर problems okay so first in the first situation we have learned that the self management is teaching us how we can be self dependent and what will be the outcome if we are self dependent second scenario in the second condition second advantage showing that it also gives us the self confidence here the meaning of instill is teaching okay it teaches us the self confidence so okay so if a person is self confident so the persons can deal the problems in their life okay so agar koi person self confident okay like you just take example of yourself if you are self confident aapko school mein kuch bhi you know agar uh, uh, kuch situation hai aise ya school ke andar kuch competition hai aur aapko participate karna hai and you, you know aapko koi hesitation nahi hai okay aap usme participate kar sakte ho aapko uske liye किसी से कोई परमिशन नहीं लेनी है यू नो दैट यू कैन डू दैट ओके आपको किसी के पास जाके उस चीज को सीखने की जरूरत नहीं है आप में वो कैपेबिलिटीज है आपको अपने अंदर वो कॉन्फिडेंस है देन यू कैन टेक देन यू कैन टेक द पार्ट सो बेसिकली यू आर जस्ट यू आर जस्ट 
tackling your own problems okay so self management teaches you how to become a self confident person also okay third is self management provides a long term and sustainable mechanism of handling personal life also it teaches us like how we can handle our personal life if we if suppose we have some problems in our personal life it could be like uh, about the studies about some you know uh, physical changes about any it could be anything okay so if you are a self managed person then you can tackle all that your personal life problems as well next is exhibitors of self management okay so what are the exhibitors of self management you can see here habits manners knowledge intentions and deeds these are basically the exhibitors of self management what is the meaning of this exhibitors okay so exhibitors means this self management is exhibited by what factors okay hum isko kis tarike se exhibit ya kis tarike se hum isko implement kar sakte hain so this could be exhibit by using these factors if you if you, these factors first is habits so good habits like uh, we can say a uh, brushing teeth taking bath eating balanced diet and getting uh, getting up and uh, you know sleeping at right time every day so these all will help us to maintain good health and peace second if i say self management then it could be exhibited by manners how uh, how it could be exhibited by manners like if i say good manners like being kind and friendly and uh, uh, helping others being a good listener respecting sharing uh, saying please and thank you like these are just key uh, these are the keys to maintaining a good relation with others so by maintaining the good relations you can exhibit your self management the third is knowledge so like for knowledge is being responsible for the knowledge acquisition and learning increases self esteem and develops an inquisitive mindset and curious approach okay and good intentions uh, they are just guide us to do the right things they help us in identifying the right path and right approach to handle the situations uh, now i would say this deeds is very important for the self management because a good deed done to help others is worth like more than a million good words spoken so all these elements together exhibit how well an individual manages himself so after completing these exhibitors next is the positive results of self management what will be the positive results or the outcomes of the self management so these are the self monitor self evaluation and self reinforcement we just uh, have to remember these key points okay next is self monitor okay so i'm just explaining these three self management will give you self monitoration okay it prepares individual to complete the task independently if you are a self monitored person then you can complete your task independently so it also instills ownership to the task and consequences amongst individuals second is self evaluation so it helps in setting individual goal it directs evaluation of performance objective setting and enhances self esteem and third is self reinforcement it enforces self learning for goal achievement okay and also self reliance is enhanced and which reinforces the behavior so these three are the positive results of self management next is self management skills so till now we have just studied about self management only so what is a self management uh, how could they how they could be exhibited and what are the key factors to exhibit them next is the positive results of self management what will be the positive outcomes from it okay now we are understanding how we can become a self managed person okay after knowing its uh, good terms its advantages and uh, its uh, you know outcomes now we are learning how we can you know adopt that self management skills so what are basically these skills so the first skill is self confidence okay second is stress management then independent working team player time management self motivation and personality management after this next topic is factors that help in building self confidence 
so these are the factors which actually helps you to build the self confidence self confidence in you self confidence is a part of self management skills so here we are studying self confidence first so this uh, first factor is social so interaction with the family and social environment like friends relatives teachers and media it influences self confidence of individual so if you want to become a self confident person then you should interact with your family members and you should go in some you know cultural in some uh, social functions so that you could build a uh, self confidence in you second is cultural okay so the cultural factors comprises of like values beliefs and customs third factor is physical mm. physical activity is found to be directly related to self confidence if you are self confident person then you could be a physical active person physical self efficacy refers to physical potential to complete a given task next is self confidence building tips these are the tips which will help you to become a self confident person first is getting rid of negative thoughts thinking positively staying happy with small things whatever you have you just have to be happy with that that will give you a self confident and which will help you to build a self management skill next is personal hygiene is the first key to a confident person yes keeping hair teeth fingers body and skin clean and well maintained is an easy and effective way to be at best so personal hygiene it plays a very important role in your self confidence like if you are not um, uh if you are not wearing a good clothes if you are not keeping your hair teeth fingers clean then it will definitely affect your self confidence so these all should be you know considered as a important factors of for the self confidence and this self confidence only will lead you to the self management skills last one is the chatting with the positive people okay so if you like to chat then the thing is you should chat with the positive people this will give you a good positive energy that will leads to your self confident person so this is all about the self management skills chapter and here we are done with unit 2 in the next class we will start unit 3 that is entrepreneurial skills thank you